Okay, hi everybody. This is uh, Jeff Manning, and uh, this video is a video about how to create videos for your classroom. Um, I'm hoping that this is going to be really short. I have discovered in my um, time using videos in my classroom that the shorter the videos, the more likely they are going to be viewed. Uh, of course, that shouldn't be a surprise. Uh, most of our students don't want to watch a video that's much longer than four or five minutes long. So I usually try to keep most of my videos as short as possible. Um, during this, I'm going to talk a little bit about why I create videos. Um, how do I do this? Um, if it's difficult or not. Um, what kind of things that you need if you're interested in creating your own videos. Uh, and then after you've created a video, um, what do you do with it? And then finally, uh, can you use the iPads to create these videos? So first of all, why do I do this? Well, um, I found that a lot of times uh, I would have students that were absent from my class, or I would have students that uh, were gone for various purposes. Maybe they were in SLC, maybe they um, went to uh, Tiger Path uh, or whatever the case may be and when they got back into class they were behind and it was very difficult for them to catch up with what we were doing so I started creating videos for them in particular to watch um, I also created videos over lessons that I found um, some students struggled with uh, I wanted to give them an opportunity to view the material more than once and since I don't want to stand up and teach it over and over again um, I found that giving them a video that they can access um, on an iPad or on their own time actually worked really well and then finally I kind of uh, wanted to do a little bit of a differentiated instruction and I started using videos to introduce lessons uh, I used videos as review um, I've even started to work a little bit with flipping my classroom and if you're interested in doing something like that uh, you definitely need to learn how to use videos um, how difficult is it well I don't think it's that bad. Um, it does take, you know, a little bit of practice. Uh, it takes a little bit of knowledge of a computer, but, um, you know, after you do it a few times, it becomes really easy. Uh, it's a simple download and then uh, getting it set up it doesn't take very long at all. And of course, I'm always uh, willing to help. Um, what do you need to create a video? Well, let me show you a uh, website. So this is a website called Screencast-O-Matic. Uh, I've been using them for several years now. Uh, one reason I really like them is they are 100% free. So free is always good. Um, but I also chose them because I think they're really easy to use. And I guess I'm just kind of used to it. I would imagine that if you wanted to, you could probably do a Google search for any screen capture software and probably would get pretty good results. Uh, but in my opinion, Screencast-O-Matic works really well. Uh, you can see that you can sign up for an account or they even offer uh, an opportunity for you just to start recording directly from their website. Uh, I did sign up for an account and they don't really send me any junk mail or anything like that. So I would recommend you go ahead and do that. And then that way you can download uh, the app onto your computer and just pull it up anytime you want to. Um, if you're interested in the details of actually how to use Screencast-O-Matic, uh, please, you know, email me or let me know and I would be happy to sit down with you. It maybe takes five or ten minutes to learn the, the nuances and then you're ready to go. Um, what else do you need to create a video? Well, uh, you need a headset that has uh, a microphone. Uh, I, the one that I'm using right now, I actually uh, borrowed from Ryan Johnson. He graciously let me borrow it. Uh, but you could also go pick one up at uh, Walmart or Target, probably for 10 to $20, somewhere in that area. Uh, and then uh, finally, you just either need your uh, PC or there is a way to do it on the iPad. So I'll go over that a little bit too. Um, what do I do after I create the video? Well, most of the time I upload it to um, my uh, YouTube account. Uh, I just have a YouTube channel that I upload all of my educational videos to. And then after I have uploaded them to YouTube, uh, of course YouTube generates a link and then I place that link on my Edmodo account uh, where the students can access it. Uh, I like using Edmodo because that way students uh, only in that class 
can access the video. I mean, I guess I don't mind if anybody watches it, but um, most of the time I just prefer to have a link just for them. Uh, and then that also that way, you know, the students, uh, whenever they log into Edmodo, which in my classroom they do on a daily basis, uh, the link to the video is right there. It's just one click and it starts playing. So it's just a little bit more simple that way. Um, finally, uh, can you use the iPads to do this? Uh, the answer is yes, although I have to admit I really haven't uh, played around with this very much. Uh, I did a little bit of research just through Screencast-O-Matic uh, because that's the one that I am uh, familiar with. And it looks like they have two um, applications that they suggest. Uh, the first one is called Reflector. And here's the website for Reflector. Um, it looks like what it does is you download this application to your PC and then you can um, duplicate or mirror your iPad screen to your PC. Uh, I think it would work a lot like how um, Apple TV does, uh, but instead of it showing up on your television, it shows up on your computer screen. Uh, once your iPad is on your computer screen, then you can use Screencast-O-Matic to capture it. Um, the other one that they suggested was one called Air Server. And once again, this uh, looks like it would probably be pretty easy to use. Uh, I will let you know, I don't think either one of these are free. Uh, in fact, if you go to um, the download section in uh, Reflector, it says that you can get a seven day trial for free, but after that you have to purchase it for $13. Um, and then Air Server, let's see how much that one is. Uh, you Once again, you get a seven-day trial, and then, oh, they're a little bit cheaper, and it looks like they might have an educational uh, discount. So if they uh, work the same, you, you might go with this one. Um, okay, so that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching this video.